good jig. Bit of a change of scenery because I'm at my parents' house and we can explain it in next week's vlog. But this week is all about my job at Fresh 92.7. Had an absolutely amazing week uh, doing a bunch of cool things. So I'd like to share that with you right now. Started the week off on Tuesday when I interviewed a very special guest, Mr. Matt Preston. Galantis and Hook and Sling with Love On Me, Fresh 92.7, Brecky with Cam, Alex and Matt Preston. Yes, hey. in the house. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed you've given me the broken headphones. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, Community what I, radio. I mean, for the best, for the what best. I, what, I, what I'm impressed by is, is the, only ear, the only earpiece that works is the one hanging by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, Alex and uh, Ryan and all their magical wisdom decided to play a little bit of a prank on me. So whenever I asked a question to Matt Preston, the bloke never responded. He just ignored me. Battling the, the wind as well last night. Um, have you ever found yourself kind of cooking in the elements like that with the wind? Well, the heat elements were not even, they weren't even working most of the time. Mm. No, not a fan of that question. <laughs> um, we'll ask you a bit about your time in Adelaide. Oh yeah, absolutely, it's fantastic. Yeah. <sighs> Which made it very, very awkward. Oh, do, you ever, um, do you ever enjoy non-fine dining? <laughs> this is... Ooh, no, again. No, no. <laughs> I've got another question about MasterChef. Oh, that's a great question. He was a total legend, played the game very, very smartly, and when I was eventually told, I felt like an absolute total goose. Now, we were very nervous about getting you in, Matt Preston. We don't often get people of your calibre to chat to. Cam was particularly nervous. Cam, have you noticed that Matt hasn't been paying any attention to your questions <laughs> at all this morning? Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you, un you understand why that is, Cam, don't you? Because I'm not a very good interviewer. No. Right? no. No. It's because Alex hates you. <laughs> I, I wanted to throw you under the bus. I knew you were going to do this. But she's evil like that. She's done it before, and she'll do it again. But it's a good thing though, because Maddie Preston uh, apparently does his research. Knew that your boy vlogged. Right. They, were, they were excellent questions, especially the one about, and actually the hard one there was that she tried not to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> He's dedicated, Matt Preston. Cam, yeah, you're no. off the hook. He doesn't oh, watch no, it. There you go. No, Cam, we, 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 love, you. we love your video blogs. Why? Celebrity endorsement. I reckon it's not long before you're following Ben and Liam oh. up north. Oh, <laughs> hello. Which was a uh, very weird, I guess, uh, strange position to be in, giving me a compliment. So thank you, Matt. I very much appreciate it. I hope you're doing well t judging people's cooking and, and tasting a lot of foods because you're a lucky man uh, to be in that position because I would think that I would excel at that role, even though I'm a vegetarian. Anyway, more things about work. Um, on Thursday, big event um, for a story arc that we're doing, uh, which was Cam's Glam Fam. It was something that I've always wanted to do, go to a beauty spa and get the whole, like, treatment. I don't know why. Put it to the guys and they were like, yeah, whoa. We'll do this. Um, no worries, this is funny. So I got to do that. Um, what I didn't know is that waxing your legs f***ing hurts. <laughs> oh, I love inflicting pain. <laughs> Trying to pump myself up. I can do this. Oh, so I'm uh, starting to show you again like that. I didn't realise it'd be this nervous. <laughs> okay, oh, just pull up. Yep, pull up. Quick. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> You're gonna be sore after a while! Oh. <laughs> Looks like a dead ferret. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Oh! Oh, the boys! Oh god! Oh, boys! I'm gonna be so agile after this. Like, I'm talking like bad, bad, bad. Do not recommend <laughs> at all to uh, wax your legs because it's pain that you shouldn't endure as not a man or a woman. Everyone should just leave their hairs long, I'm sure. Oh! 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 Real good girl, Craig. Andrew and his hook in his chest. Do a slow one. You can slow the video down, but. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. 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 I can't stop it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What else did I do this week? Um, Friday saw the event of Fresh Gets Fat, which I spoke about last week for like two seconds. Um, I did a bit of promo for it last week, which you saw in the vlog, and this week was the payoff. We had the event at Fat Controller, it was Friday night. It was absolutely awesome to kind of uh, host the event. I don't know, we only spoke between acts, but it was cool to still relive uh, some glory days when I used to be on stage. Um, remember that? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
what a funny time it was. I got to meet young Franco, who's a legend, a bunch of other cool artists were partied. And then in the end, I was very drunk, which is <laughs> always a pretty good time. I think I tried to give a quick synopsis of the night when I was really pissed. Let's see if it actually worked. Hello, this is a character you're probably not familiar with in the vlogs. It's a intoxicated camera. It is currently 3.27 in the AM on a Saturday morning. I'm gonna decode the night very accurately and very succinctly. Succinct. Um, the night started off really well. Um, myself and Alex were hyped to uh, commentate or what are we doing? Hosting the evening. Two organized humans. That's what we are. With a couple of clipboards. With a couple of clippy boards. Clippy bees. Um, it was a lot of fun. We were. Uh, we introed and outroed artists. Um, I didn't film the first one, but I think I filmed. No, I didn't even film the second one. Second official uh, break between acts. Um, this time we are outroing. Does that make sense? Outroing back, dance back space. Selling. Back back announcing dance space. Introing Riley. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'll see if I can put a camera up and see what we're at. Yeah, Riley's a little bit late. Um, night's going well so far. Rate of the 10. Happy days. You're aware we have to speak in like at least, or at the most, five minutes, mate. You know that, don't you? No. She doesn't give a sh**. I filmed the third one, though. Other than that, we had a really good night uh, at Fat Controller. I danced up a storm, as did Alex, as did the crew. Snuck out to the burrito, got myself a bit of a cheeky snack, which is nice. One thing I really enjoyed from the night was the amount of talented DJs that were there. It was awesome to just sit back and see everyone's different style and take on music because music is a very malleable thing wherein you can decide how you interpret music and uh, really, I guess, engross yourself into that genre. And it really showed throughout the different styles of music uh, that was played tonight. Specifically, um, <laughs> young Franco and and and, and uh, Tink set is they were very very different, but I tell you what, I enjoyed both equally as much. I hope this has made sense. I'll see you in the morning. Future Cam, take it away. Other than that, I did not a whole lot. Right now, obviously, I'm at my parents' place. So next week we'll start uh, off with that down in Vicky Harbour, Port Elliot, and all those good Southern Coast vibes. Other than that, have an absolute epic week, and I will see you next week. Goodbye. This is a nice, like, post credit scene. After everything, this is what goes in. If Cam posts this... He's dead. He's dead. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Doyle, God Sorry. bless ya. Sorry.